everyone, today I'm presenting about Plasmodium nolisi. It is malaria. Malaria is bad air of marshes where anapholine mosquito breeds. Malaria is an infectious disease, which is caused by protozoan parasites of genus Plasmodium. There is five causative organisms. First is Plasmodium falciparum. Second is Plasmodium vivax. Third is Plasmodium oval. Fourth is Plasmodium malariae. And last is Plasmodium nolisi. Plasmodium falciparum is a malignant tertian malaria. Plasmodium vivax is a benign tertian malaria. Plasmodium oval is a benign tertian malaria. Plasmodium malariae is a benign quartum malaria. Plasmodium nolisi is a simian quotidian malaria. Malaria is still a public health problem in Sabah and Sarawak due to high mortality rates caused by Plasmodium falciparum in cerebral malaria cases. Symptoms of malaria is headache, fever, fatigue, pain, chills, sweating, dry cough, nausea, vomiting. And symptoms for severe malaria are seizures, respiratory distress, anemia, organ failure, coma, death. Phatogenesis. Plasmodium nolisi infection becoming more important in Malaysia. A large number of human plasmodium nolisi infections were described in the carpet division of Sarawak in 2004. 58% of 201 patients with malaria at Carpet Hospital Sarawak were infected with Plasmodium nolisi. Infections had been misdiagnosed by microscopy mainly as Plasmodium malariae. In 2009 report in Sarawak, Penalzi was the second most prevalent malaria after Plasmodium vivax. Here I report a case of pedognolisi infection in adult man at Sabre. Case study. A 74 years old apparently healthy man from Sabah. He is presented to a hospital KPJ Sabah with a 9 days history of nocturnal fever 39 to 40 degrees Celsius with significant chills and rigors. He also experiencing nausea and vomiting of 1 to 2 episode a days associated with loose stools. A weeks before the onset fever, he with his family returned from five days trip at Parak. His group family stayed in open cabins in a rainforest area and participated in outdoor activities without in any anti-malarial prophylaxis was taken. On physical examination, the patient appeared ill with a temperature 39.4 degrees Celsius, pale, miserable, lethargic, and no jaundice, conjunctivitis, lymphadenopath or rash. For a while, he received supportive treatment with no improvement. Here is the result for the laboratory investigation.
Diagnosis. Serology for dengue and typhoid fever proved negative. Leptospirosis also considered because extensive involvement of water sport activities and the result come as not reactive. Thick and thin blood film for malaria were done and the result reported the presence of both early trophozoates resembling falciparum and late trophozoate of P. malariae. This both type resemble lead to suspicion of penalzi and being confirmed with PCR or QEH of KPJ. The PCR results from QEH show a positive band 426 BP which correspond to that penalzi positive control. Blood film was positive for malaria parasite with parasite count is 48,705 per 118 L blood. This is the picture show that malaria is present on both thick and thin blood film. Treatment. As typhoid fever was suspected at first, the patient was started on intravenous ceftriaxone at a dose of 50 mg per kilogram per day. When malaria blood film is reported the presence of possible species of P. falciparum, oral quinine was started at 30 mg per kilogram per day as for uncomplicated P. falciparum malaria. When P. C is confirmed by PCR testing, treatment was changed to oral chloroquine at 10 mg per kilogram per dose for the first dose, 5 mg per kilogram per dose at 6th, 24th and 48th hour. For the outcome and follow-up, the patient remained febrile and unwell while on intravenous ceftriaxone. However, upon starting on the anti-malarial treatment, fever, nausea and vomiting resolved. Patients discharged home after five days add follow-up in outpatient clinic after a week. A full blood count showed improvement to the thrombocytopenia. Prevention and control. Treatment of patients from no source of infection. The first is chemoprophylaxis. Second is vector control such as insecticides, destruction of breeding places, avoid exposure to bite by repellents, clothes, nets and last is vaccine trial. The chemoprophylaxis is one week before traveling, during and after leaving endemic area. True prophylaxis for healthy persons is pyramethamine 25 mg per week or mefloquine. For the clinical prophylaxis that is suppressant treatment for elimination of asexual erythrocytic forms, take a chloroquine 600 mg per week for one week before traveling. Thank you for listening.